What's up guys, it's Slur Exclusive here, and today I'm going to be playing through this uh, indie game called A Memoir Blue. Um, this is an uh, indie game from Anna Perner Interactive, they're the publisher, and it was developed by Cloisters Interactive. Um, the official description of this game is, A song from years ago triggers a flood of memories for champion swimmer Miriam. Embark on an evocative uh, journey through her f turbulent childhood and the complicated relationship she shared with her devoted mother. Um, from what I know, this is a very short and sweet indie game. It takes about one to two hours to finish. Um, and, uh, you know, it's also a fairly easy achievement game, but not necessarily in terms of, like, you know, one of those, like, shovelware games, but it's just, like, a beautiful little story game that, you know, you gotta just gotta do, like, certain things off the beaten path in order to get all the achievements. Um, you know, so it's one of those really beautiful story games, um, short and sweet game, like I said. Um, um... From uh, someone else, like, uh, I saw that this is kind of like a description from someone else. So, Memoir Blue is an emotional journey about life, decisions, and the consequences of it. A short story told through symbolism of a young woman and her upbringing, a strained parents' relationship, and resulting emotional distress. You'll journey through memories in the current day, interacting with objects and solving environmental puzzles. So, it seems like it's a point-and-click, like, short adventure game. Um, where you kind of go through her life and she kind of like goes back through her memories as a child um, So yeah, so it's definitely gonna be interesting to check it out um, Like I said the achievements are very easy to get you just kind of have to like do certain things in uh, some of the chapters In each of the chapters that this game has and thankfully there is chapter select so as you can see right here So it's not a big deal if we you know, we could just kind of go back through it if anything, but for the most part, I'm just going to follow through the guide and uh, just get them along the way. So, without further ado, let's uh, start a new game here and let's check it out. All right, do you want to start a new game? Your auto saves may be in. I never played one, so it's fine. Wow, she looks uh, kind of unhappy here. All right, let's see. So, I guess well, what do we click on here? Okay. Yeah, she doesn't like the uh, the limelight, huh? Very interesting. What is going on? She does not look happy at all. Turn it off. interact with pretty much every item in here. It's kind of cool. Oh, with left trigger and right trigger. You could cycle through the items available to interact with. Messages. Question mark. This is very interesting. Right, is that a call or? Huh? huh. All right. So here's the first achievement related to this glass right here. So you gotta take out the three ice cubes. Okay, harder than I thought. What the hell? Why doesn't it... Huh. Bro. <laughs> what is going on? They don't want to go out. What the hell? 
Alright, hang on, let me see, look at this. This is weird. Alright, this is completed chapter one. At the beginning of the game, you'll have a cup of water with three ice cubes. You need to grab each ice cube and throw them out of the glass. The ice cubes will respawn in the glass, so you need to be quick in getting all three out at the same time. Pushing the ice cubes to the bottom of the glass will progress the story, so make sure to complete this before continuing. But it doesn't want to leave the damn... Oh, okay, there's one. I see, you gotta like... It's almost like a spring. Well, they give you a lot of time, so that's fine. There's one. Damn, this is... There's two. Come on. Aw, oh, bro. Oh my god. Okay. Yeah! Alright, there we go. <laughs> Damn, that was harder than I thought. Empty your cup. Remove all ice cubes from the glass. Jeez, man. Alright, so let's continue. Gotta push him to the bottom. Ooh, that's cool. Okay, poor fishy. Another fish spawned. Very interesting. Condensation, baby. Damn, she's very sad. Okay, here's the other achievement. Related to the radio. Okay, so this one says... Uh, this is completed in chapter 1. Immediately after empty your cup achievement, you'll be presented with a radio. Before progressing, slide the needle to each white line and press each of the two buttons under the knob. Um, each should produce a different image. Under the knob? Okay. Let's try the next one. That's cool. It's a train passing through a city. A train going inside a tunnel. First one was what again? It was a couch under light and a couch. Filling up with water, I'm guessing. That's what it looks like, anyway. Alright, let's go to the next one. It's a boat. Just sailing under a sunset. Or sun, I mean. Sunny day. And then a boat sailing, I guess, on a windy, cloudy day. Okay. A picture of a city where it's raining. It's like really raining here. Whoa, this thing's filling with water. Interesting. Now we're underwater. It's like a picture of kelp. Lightning. Thunder. Okay. It's a freaking carousel. A merry-go-round. Huh. Dolphins. And the last one. There we go. Surfing the radio waves. Be all the images available in the radio. Alright, don't that one. Nice. Oh, she has a lot of trophies. Jeez. It's raining inside her house.
sunny as day, but it's uh, yeah, apparently it rains in our house. All right, so then there's one more. Um, it's called Glow Up. Light up the crane and billbo billboard at sunset. This is completed in chapter one. After serving the radio waves achievement, you look out a window. On the right side is a billboard and a crane. Press the billboard once and the crane three times to light them. Crane and billboard at sunset. Okay. Uh, let's see. Hop in the turnstile. Okay, so that's in the next chapter. So let's see. What can we interact with? I don't want to interact with the sun just yet. Could kind of interact with the windows, but not really. Subway car, it's underwater. It's a picture of her and her family. Mama and Papa. Hey, Daddy O. fighting him. Oh. Actually, she just took her and ran. Okay, wait. So, this is complete in Chapter 2. At the start of Chapter 2, you'll be at a ticketing machine with two coins. Instead of using the coins to purchase a ticket, throw both of them off the edge of the screen. Similar to ice cubes. Be quick, because they will respawn. Yo. What? Damn, bro. They are really quick. Alright, but I got it, though. Hop in the turnstile. Try to avoid paying the train fare. Okay. The next one is Wood War. Chapter 3, okay, so. Oh 
Okay. Eh. One ticket done. Thank you. And second ticket done. Thank you. Flood? Was this? Oh. Oh, I can dictate where the water goes. That's cool. Drop, 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 drop. It's so sad, man. She's such a rough child. Speed run! Oh, I really love the aquarium. She's on a train. What? Whoa. Uh -huh. bam, 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 bam. Right on the road alone. Huh. Sitting heels was his boat. Guess we're at our stop. What's that? Fishies! Same ones in the cup. Oh, it's them. Little tiny footsteps. We're here, going into the ocean, apparently. Everything in her life is represented by water and fish. 